This is problem 30.68. Tell you you have a solenoid and you know nothing about it, but it's in series with the resistor and you know stuff about that. You know the resistance and the voltage. Um, yeah, you know all this stuff and ask you some questions, gives you a nice graph. First thing it asks is what is the resistance, RL, of the solenoid? So it tells you the voltage of the battery and the fact that there's a resistor with some nice resistance. And it tells you that immediately after you, um, you know, you do it, the switch is closed, that voltage in the resistor is zero. But after a while, it goes back up to 25, which 25 is the original voltage. So because it went all the way back up to 25, the resistance in the solenoid is zero because if the solenoid had resistance, that resistor would not be able to get the 25 volts again. It just wouldn't be possible. Second part is asking, apply the loop rule to the circuit and obtain an equation for VR as a function of T. We don't actually need to apply the loop rule, but you do have to look into your textbook to find a nice equation. So we know that V equals IR. And if you look in your equation, you can get this equation for I, the current, which is EMF over resistance time one minus E to E negative R over LT. And we go ahead and multiply that by R, then the R's cancel out. And this is what you end up getting um, for B. That should be R, your voltage in the resistor. Let's get C. C is now asking um, to use that equation that you just found, but when it's at one time constant, and find what is the new VR equation. So the time constant, tau, is L over R. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in for our T. So we're finding our when T equals tau. So VR equals EMF, that's not cute, times 1 minus E to the negative RL times T, which is L times R. And what do you know? These beautifully cancel out. And you end up getting that. And we have our voltage. They gave that to you in your problem. So you literally just go ahead and um, plug all these numbers in and ease in your calculator so you can 100% plug that in and I got 15.8 volts. Now let's look at D. D is asking you what is the inductance of the solenoid? So for this what we're going to do is we're actually going to finally use this graph. So in our equation for VRs we need a VR and we need a time. And what do you know? This graph gives that to you. So if you look right at this point, we can find our first point. So that is at 10 milliseconds, and we got nice and in between the line. So you can find your VR of about 17.5 right there. So those are the two values we're going to keep in mind in this. We're going to have our VR of 17.5 volts at 10 milliseconds. So 10 times 10 to the negative third. And we have our same equation. And now we have all our things that we can just plug in. And you are gonna have to solve for L now. So hope you know all your rules. And then you can go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. And solve for L, and I got 0.415 Henry's, and that is the unit for inductance, H. Now we get to go into E, which I believe asks us about uh, energy. Yes, how much energy is stored in the inductor a long time after the switch is closed. So like T is super high, but they don't give us a time, so we can't just use T. But we know that energy is one half Li squared, and we have L, we just solved for that. We don't have I yet, but we can find I, V equals IR. So I equals V over R, I equals 
equals 25 over 50 equals one half of an ampere. So u equals one half times this 0.415 times this one half squared, and I got 0 0.052 joules. And that is your answer for E.